Exposure to sustained noise almost certainly impairs blood pressure regulation in human beings, but to the frustration of many patients, some researchers have obtained results that blank the relationships. Okay, in this sentence, let's take a look here at the beginning. We have these findings that exposure to sustained noise is harmful, or at least it impairs blood pressure. So we then have this but here. So but to the frustration of many patients, some researchers have obtained results that what the relationships? Well, we're assuming here that these patients are those who suffer in some way from blood pressure regulation. And so they know, of course, that exposure to sustained noise has an effect on blood pressure regulation. So how would they feel if researchers find, found results that somehow showed that the relationship wasn't clear? And so maybe we can come up with a word here that obscured. Now, when you have findings and the relationships are obscured, that means they're not clear. And that's what we're going for here. And that's why these patients would be or show frustration, because they know this to be the case, that lots of noise, Sustained noise up here isn't good for blood pressure regulation. So we go down to the answers and we look for words that mean obscured. So first we have conflate. You may not know what that word means, so I'm going to put a little mark there. Next we have diminish the relationships. So diminish doesn't necessarily mean the same thing as make less clear. Again, we want a clear relationship here, or I should say the patients want a clear relationship here between exposed or sustained noise, exposure to sustained noise, and blood pressure, and, and the impairing of blood pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of diminished because it doesn't quite fit the idea of clear. Next we have muddy. So if we have muddy, well, does that make any sense to muddy the relationships? We wanted a clear relationship, but they're frustrated because the relationships are not clear. So muddy, well, that could work. So let's put a check mark there. It's not the word you may think of in context. Maybe, maybe you think of mud. But when you muddy something, you cloud the results. You make them so they are less clear. And we, of course, have that word obscure there. So muddy could work. Neutralize isn't the same thing as to make less clear. And there we have obscure. So we can circle that. And then there is the word buttress, which means to support. And we're going sort of for the opposite here to make the relationship seem less clear. And that's why muddy and obscure work really well. Conflate, by the way, just means to lump things together into the same group. That doesn't work. And our answers are C and E.